I'm Terry Smith and I'm very fortunate to be the engineering manager at Sign Fracture Care International. And so today I'm going to talk to you about our summer bash and a bioskills lab that we're trying to fund. Um, and three years ago we were able to interact with a gentleman by the name of Rick Anthony at uh, Surgical Training Institute and he has a mobile lab that he brings to various locations where he can set up uh, for training courses, uh, whether it's a full cadaver lab or just a, a bioskills lab. And so we also partnered with some other uh, organizations, um, MedCure Science Care, uh, OrthoMed, and AcuMed. And so they've helped us set up an initial training session with this Bioskills Lab. And uh, we combined that with an annual conference that we have where up to, say, 150 surgeons come in to uh, Richland, Washington, throughout the world. They participate with SIGN in, in our SIGN programs. And it's an opportunity where it's just a great interaction, where, where it's a learning opportunity. They will present papers, studies that they've done over time. Uh, they will also engage in training, whether we're training them or they're training us. And so with this advent of or adding the, the BioSkills Lab, it was a chance for a lot of these surgeons, particularly young residents, to have a first, you know, kind of a first time to, to participate in a, in a BioSkills Lab and learning environment. Um, and so when, as we engaged in those surgeons that first time, it was just, it was incredible the amount of uh, information exchange and learning that happened. Um, so we've been fortunate to be able to do that for an additional two years, and now we're trying to fund and build our own bioskills lab that we can use uh, throughout the year. Uh, and so the vision for engineering is really it's a learning center, right? It's a chance for us to learn uh, more about the needs from our, our surgeons and, and uh, what they need in their hospitals. Um, and that learning kind of comes into play in a couple different ways. Clearly when, the, when we're having a lab here on, on site, it's that one-on-one -on -one interaction. We may be showing them how to use a new, a new instrument that we have um, developed uh, from their feedback. They get a chance to use it. Uh, they get to ask questions. We get to ask questions. We're drawing pictures. Uh, um, and so that's, that one-on-one -on -one interaction is pretty important to, to fuel innovation and take their ideas or our, maybe their own ideas and refine them into, a, into a, either a, an implant or a medical uh, device. The other really important part is the observational part. A lot of our surgeons are just, they're quite frankly world experts in what they do. They, they do more surgery and probably as well as surgery uh, that's done in the U.S. with a lot less equipment. And so it's, it's a chance for us to watch them and then observe them and then we can see like, oh, maybe if we made a subtle change, it would make it easier for them and make their job easier. And some of the keys that we wanna do is if we can shorten the surgery time, it's a lot safer for a patient. So if we can watch and observe and get their feedback, uh, then it helps us innovate a lot more. Um, a classic example is a video we got from a doctor in, uh, in Ethiopia, uh, so Dr. Galata, and he sent us his feedback video, and it's he's in it. You can see that he's he's showing us how one of our plates, one of our bone plates, he's adapted to use on the on the pelvis and the plate benders, and so he's given us feedback, and that feedback came after he spent time at a conference, after he spent time using those plates in a bioskills lab uh, and doing training session, uh, but once you know, since we've had conversations with him, it was. That video came back to us and it just gave us a lot of uh, uh, you know, subtle details that we were really helped us to improve our products. I think the other vision that we have in engineering is that we could help create and, and, and develop training videos right, for the new devices that we have uh, come up with and are, de and are developing then provide uh, a space for some training videos to be created. Uh, and then I think the other part of it would be is now that uh, we spent time uh, with stay-at-home orders and, and being much more adept at video conferencing that we you know, want to be able to set up some live feeds with them and do just some live video conferences with our surgeons and, and get a chance to, for them to get feedback. And so instead of waiting for a conference, we'll do it more often with them. So having a dedicated bioskills or a dedicated learning center will help with that.